Hello everybody once again, this is Akal Kazoo and welcome back to another video. This will be the Assassin Skill Plate Options Insight video. In this video, I'll highlight specific Assassin Skill Plates that are key for you to know about, some for you to decide for yourself and some that are interesting to know just for the laws. I'll also be providing a written guide on all the available plates and plate options for Assassin, Chaser, Ripper and Raven. You can find out about that from the link provided in the description below the video, which should be, which should be up shortly after the video is uploaded. Alright, let's start with the skill plates that are interesting to know just for the lols. The first would be Gore Cake, which has a 20% damage increase or 50% action speed plate option. Obviously, there's nothing much to show about the damage increase, so I'll be showing Gore Cake with and without a 50% action speed plate. Let's go! Cha! Well, if you thought that was for the lols, the next skill will be Swipe, where the assassin will give a few of 8 month style punches without a sugar onto a knockdown target. Similarly, there's a 50% action speed plate for this skill for you to be 8 man or Super 8 man. Alright, alright, let's get a little serious now. Players playing Assassin will be happy to note that for the Assassin class, they actually have a 12% cooldown reduction plate for Tumbo, which unless I'm mistaken, most classes only have the 50% MP consumption decrease or the cooldown reset, except for Academic class, which also have a 12% cooldown plate on their dodge. With 12% cooldown reduction, you're looking at 2.2 seconds at level 5 Tumbo compared to 2.6 seconds. <laughs> Alright, with that, we'll move on to a more interesting skill which will be Raindrop. This skill has the cooldown time charging characteristics which allows you to charge up to 3 times such that you can cast the skill 3 times in a row. This skill has the 20% cooldown reduction option and the 10% cooldown reset chance option. With the 20% cooldown reduction, you're looking at 18 seconds cooldown down from 20 seconds. And before I go on to sharing the video footage, let's just say that in theory, with the 10% cooldown reset chance plate option, we are looking at 11 raindrops cast in 200 seconds, which means 10 and then you get 1 extra free. And if you are using the 20% cooldown reduction option, you will have 10 raindrops in 180 seconds. However, since the 11th raindrop is free in the cast for the cooldown reset chance option, you will then deduct the 20 seconds off you had to cast, I mean you had to wait initially to cast another raindrop, which means that with the cooldown reset chance option, actually it's only 180 seconds as well, which is the same for the 20% cooldown reduction time plate. However, the other way of looking at it is that the 11th frame drop for the 20% cooldown plate option will be at the 198th second, which means that the 20% cooldown reduction option is faster than the cooldown reset chance by 2 seconds. That is quite a mouthful. I'll just leave the rest to the guys who are prone in mats and move on to the next part, which is more important. For those wanting to use the cooldown reset plate option, you need to take note of this very important note which will be shown in the video footage. For those who still don't get it, basically, you just need to pause slightly in between casting each raindrop and my conclusion regarding which skill play to go for will be the 10% cooldown reset chance just because every time it resets, it feels awesome. But seriously, in a situation where you have the cooldown time reduction skills like Beyond Time, having a chance to reset your raindrop cooldown will be great as well. 
With that, we'll be moving on to the Ripple skills, starting with Arsonist, which will be the buff that gives you increased fire elemental attack. Well, first things first, for both PvP and PvE, this skill play option is obvious since the cooldown time and duration is the same in both PvP and PvE. The skill play options available are the 20% cooldown reduction and 20% increase in buff duration. This one is, I would say, a bit of a no brainer really, since 20% cooldown reduction will mean a cooldown time of 24 seconds down from 30 seconds, and the 20% increase in buff duration will only bring the buff duration to 28.8 seconds, which means a 1.2 seconds downtime if you went for the buff duration play. However, the only situation where the buff duration play will be better will be that you know that you can kill your target in 28.8 seconds because using a 20% cooldown reduction play will mean that you need to rebuff in 24 seconds while the 20% increase in buff duration play will give you or you the user until 28.8 seconds before you need to rebuff. This probably means that it is more applicable in PvP since rebuffing moments are moments where you will be vulnerable. Next skill coming up will be Shift Blow and Shift Blow EX. I'll be showing you guys the 50% action speed plate video footage to let you know the possible difference. Please note that for Shift Blow EX, the final punch can be used almost immediately by pressing the right mouse click button during any part of the skill casting animation. <laughs> So have you decided yet? Well, the other plate option available for Shift Blow is 20% cooldown reduction. My personal preference will definitely be the 50% action speed plate since it feels a lot faster and fluid. Or you can cancel Shift Blow EX with a right click for a fast cast of the final blow. Do know that in PvE, the punches actually count for a significant amount of damage from your Shift Blow, which is why I'll be choosing the action speed plate for this one to ensure full damage while casting Shift Blow EX. Shift Blow EX is one of my favorite skills from the Assassin class and feeling fast is always great! This is one of those skill options I mentioned at the start of my video that you need to decide for yourself. Next up, we'll be moving on to my second favorite skill from the Assassin class which will be Artful Chaser from the Ripper class. This skill has the 20% damage increase and the 50% action speed plate and of course, I'll be showing you the 50% action speed plate video footage. <laughs>
Well, you know my choice for Shift Blow EX, so obviously I'll be going for Action Split Plate on this one as well. However, this one I'll personally recommend the Action Split Plate since the initial charging of the skill before the Fiery Slashes is pretty significant and delayed without Action Split Plate. For PvP, Action Split Plate is definitely a must, but for PvE, I'll leave it up to your own choice again. And last but not the least, the skill that will end off this video will be Crippling Punisher, the ultimate skill that Reapers must learn. The skill play options available are 20% increase in buff duration and 20% cooldown. The 20% buff duration increase will give your Crippling Punisher a 12 second duration compared to 10 seconds. But just how many more slashing rotations can you do in 2 seconds? Let's find out. <laughs> One rotation for Crippling Punisher is equals to 4 hits, and 13 rotations will mean 2 extra rotations up from 11 for a total of 8 extra hits. 8 extra hits from Crippling Punisher is about 830% times 8 for 6504% PA tech worth of damage in PvE. For PvP, it also means extra 2 seconds for you to use the right click ability of Crippling Punisher to dash away when needed. Using the cooldown reduction option will bring your PvE cooldown to 100 seconds and PvP cooldown to 72 seconds. If you are looking and bursting down your opponent in PvP, then I think the cooldown reduction option will be a much better choice. Again, this one will be up to you to decide, and I'm just here to show you how much 20% increase in buff duration can do for you. That's all for the video on the Assassin's skill plate options, I didn't mention other skills because they are pretty straightforward with the options that are available for them. For more information on all the possible plate options for Assassin, Chaser, Raven and Reaper skills, do check out the page that shows them. The page will be updated shortly after the uploading of this video and links will be provided in the description below the video as well. Thanks for watching once again and it will be a great help if you help storm the like button and subscribe to T Gaming. God bless as always and I'll see you guys and girls next time. Goodbye.